Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday, almost a Tuesday. With having the kids not in school, I kind of scrambled up my days a little bit. But today is Wednesday morning. I am here in school today. I just got in. Um, I am packed for the day, and I wanted to really come on and show you what I'm doing for my kids. Um, if you don't know, I do cooperative uh, groups with my teaching so the kids have a chance to earn different points throughout and they also have the opportunity to come up with team names so I'm actually going to show you class so you can see my classroom that's here they're all in cooperative groups but then in addition to cooperative groups my class I, they have team names so here you can see that they can come up with their own team names and we do points um, for for every single class so this is my homeroom and this is my partner teachers homeroom so throughout the week they earn points and they can be a super team and once they're a super team I have a plaque right here and they just get their names up on the plaque and they love it so once they are a super team, they get a prize from me, and I do that weekly, and I do that weekly, and once they are a super team, they get some type of prize from me. Usually I do a lunch munch ticket, or homework passes, or um, just candy or pencils, something like that. But every person gets a super team cert from me and I write their team name of the winner here and once I write their team name there I put um, their individual names so they get individual um, names there and then I also then have my name underneath here and this is on their desk in the morning um, showing that they have earned their super team along with their treat that they have earned so that is what I do but honestly, if you would like to know more about my classroom management technique and how I do my super teams and cooperative learning, make sure you um, comment below so that I can do a video just on classroom management um, if that is something you want. But I'm going to go ahead and get myself ready for the rest of the day. Um, I have about 20 minutes before the kids come in. and. Um, then I'll check with you maybe a little bit later on. All right, have a good day, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Happy, what day is it? Thursday. This, day, this week is going so fast. I didn't even know what um, day of the week it is. But um, I'm here in my classroom this morning getting myself together. Right now I'm turning on my computers because in the morning I have kids come in, work on computer stuff. Um, so everyone's been coming in and out of my room so I thought maybe I would come on and vlog a little bit. But today is one of those days where uh, we are just going over some of the skills that we did yesterday. Um, playing one of my classes or have to play the game that we're doing and that we did yesterday with the grammar, the possessive nouns, um, the plural possessive nouns. And then we are gonna be doing a little bit about paraphrasing. So notice that the kids, they are not using paraphrasing to help them summarize. It just seems to be that they're mixing it up a little bit. So we're gonna do a little bit of that today. Um, just a busy day for this morning. Um, but like I said, I know I'm sorry I didn't get on and uh, vlog a little bit from yesterday after school. I had so many meetings and I was meeting with one of my coworkers, my well, was part of my team, and we were going over a little bit of language arts, what we plan on doing on Thanksgiving break, because we all know Turkey Day is coming and the kids know that too. So we needed to go over a couple of things that we're going to do on thanks before Thanksgiving break because it's also conferences and we have half days. So, but I always like doing conferences because that's always a good time 
of year. We get to meet the parents, talk about how they're doing. So that's always interesting. So that's always good. But for today, like I said, I have a busy, busy day. I am going to try to get on and vlog when my kids are at specials today. And then um, maybe hopefully after school, I can go ahead. When we finally arrived at Birmingham, it didn't seem so different from Flint after all. There were no outhouses, but I would soon learn that when you lived a little closer, it was like you were in a different world. <laughs> Babies, we're home. We're home. Hey everyone, um, it's after school time, the kids left. I did not get a chance to get on when my kids were in specials today. Uh, just so much going on between meetings and stuff. But um, I'm here in my classroom just straightening up a little bit because everything is a, a hot mess, <laughs> we could say. But uh, my teacher's desk, as you can see a little bit, I need to clean up a little bit of it. So we have that, but other than that, um, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, the clip earlier, I, I showed a clip earlier with a video. Um, and the video that we were doing was my IE group, and we have an intervention and an enrichment time. And I do teach an enrichment class. So my enrichment class we did a novel study a unit on the Watsons go to Birmingham which I love 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 if you have never read this book or haven't read it with your class please 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 read it it's awesome the kids seem to enjoy it and you can put a lot of history in it which is cool about it but um, after the novel study the video is awesome and it matches the book really well so I like actually going through and doing the video after we've read the book and we can do a little compare and contrast and different activities with that so I like doing that a lot too but um the kids didn't seem to enjoy it we have one more day of it I'm hoping tomorrow we get to finish the video because I will be starting a new IE group um, when we get back from Thanksgiving break. So we will have a different set of kids or hopefully the same set of kids who are still in Richmond and we will be doing another book. I actually think I might start Holes. Holes is another cool book that we do for enrichment here for fourth grade. So I probably most likely will be doing Holes next with my group which is pretty cool but um I like I like that too so I'm just sitting here straightening everything else out um and kind of rambling on here next week I have to look for my plans for next week because I like to have everything together on tomorrow Friday so then this way we can um have everything photocopied for the week and I can get that done too. Um, I also have Friday folders that I need to do too because Friday folders get passed out for tomorrow. Um, if you don't know what Friday folders are, every single, actually every single Friday I pass out, me and my partner do a Friday folder thing where all their tests go home. And when their tests go home, we ask their parent to sign the folder so then this way we know that they've been getting their tests that are there um which i like doing that too which is cool but all right so i am actually going to end this clip right here because i need to finish straightening up my classroom that i have and then i am going to actually head out because I want to get out of here a little bit earlier today. Um, I spend so much time here and I don't, I have some things to do, some errands to run. So I want to make sure I get out of here. But um, I will make sure I vlog tomorrow so you can see everything. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I almost didn't get on and vlog this morning because um, it is 
so busy jam packed and first of all it's friday and i don't know about you but i cannot stay up and i had to make myself another cup of coffee because my lipstick here but um happy veterans today day this is a red white and blue day but i just wanted to get on to say happy friday um i will be vlogging throughout the day to finish up our week um and especially towards the end of the day so make this veterans day a good so I just finished taking my kids to specials today and I just wanted to come on to say, wow, my kids, sorry for the lighting, I noticed it's off, but I just wanted to say my kids were fantastic today. They were so on. It's amazing. Like we even got a compliment from um, our principal as she was walking by. So I'm super proud of them. Um, we worked on some main idea and supporting details and they got it. They nailed it. So like I said, I am super proud of my kids. Um, I even was talking to my partner teacher and when we get back from specials, we switch classes, but she even said her homeroom was on. So love it. Hey everyone, um, I am here at the end of the day. It is Friday at the end of the day and the weekend is here, yay! I'm so excited about that because I have some big plans to do this weekend, but right now I am just finishing up packing up my bag so then this way um, I can get out of here and then um, I need to clean up a little bit of my classroom because we did a science experiment today and the science experiment had to deal with matter and I love teaching matter it's actually my one of my favorite science topics to teach but um, actually let me just show you the activity that we did today um, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about right here that I'm cleaning up so the activity that we did here is that my kids had to figure out how much mass makes up a piece of matter. So in this case, every kid in the team got a balance that's here. So they had a balance. Um, and then, uh, sit down here, and every kid also got um, in a group a bag of clay here with um, gram cubes. So what they had to do was they measured how many grams this balance, um, not the balance, this, the clay is. So they had to decide how much grams it is by counting the gram cubes until it showed that it was even, which was pretty cool. But then they had to use some of their thinking skills and they had to break their clay into two pieces and they had to estimate how many grams do you think each piece is and then they actually had to put it on their balance and take their gram cubes and measure it out again so the kids did a fantastic job i mean honestly both of our classes all day was on and we were talking about how awesome they were they were on for behavior they were on for academics so i'm definitely super super proud of them for their hard work that they have actually done today so which is pretty pretty cool but um we also had our new first super teams because I changed seats for the end of the first quarter, so we start their new quarter today. So this week they ended up with new seats, and the kids learned how to work together with that, and we have a super team. I actually have two groups that work very, very, very well together, and I told them that I was super proud of the way that they work together. So um, I will be distributing that to them, um, too. On Monday so they'll get their super team certs and everything that they have there so I like that about that um, other than that today went really really well and um, like I said I'm just I finished up my plans from for next week I am going to get together some of the photocopying that I need for next week so um, once I get that I like having everything organized and all set but I can actually show you what I do 
when I photocopy for next week so that you can see and then I have everything all set for the entire week um, but on Fridays I like to excuse me on Fridays I like to actually I have a photocopy bin and this photocopy bin that I have I always have everything in it that I need for the week and then I have my you can see here I have my drawers here so I always go in and copy all of my things and then I put it inside of one of these drawers so when it's time to use those items sorry but if it's time to use those items I go ahead and just pull it out of the drawer put it in my Monday through Friday bin and put it in the folder and I'm set to go so I am actually going to be busy um, doing all of that too and getting myself ready to go home so um, let me do that and I will actually um, see you guys on Monday I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend um, so let's get a little bit colder here in Pennsylvania it's getting a lot colder so um, stay warm and like I said I hope you have a great weekend if you didn't like this video go ahead and like this video um, and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.